With the new Electro God of Weathering Waves Zhang Liao finally dropping tomorrow, every player will have the chance to claim him for free. So rather than should you summon for Zhang Liao, it's more of a should you build Zhang Liao. Since the amount of resources required to just max out a character is pretty demanding of your time and in-game stamina, some of you may still be a bit stuck between whether or not you should invest in Zhang Liao. Also, considering he is a free character, that would mean you have a lot of Ashtrites left over. So picking up his signature weapon would be something to definitely consider for some of you and especially if you intend to main him. So with that, I'll be going over Zhang Liao's value as a DPS character, whether it's really worth investing in him and if you should pick up his signature weapon. For those of you that are certain on building up Zhang Liao and would just want to know the good stuff like his team synergies, best builds and how exactly his kit works, I have already uploaded a full guide video going over everything for Zhang Liao so I'll link it in the description for you guys to check out. Now just before we jump into it, as always, would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel for more Othering Waves content and drop a like if you enjoy the video. Before anything, if you still aren't sure on how to claim Zhang Liao, he is locked behind achieving a certain popularity level in the Moonlight Chasing Festival event. We did receive the page to claim our Zhang Liao in the event section a couple days ago and as you can see, 6000 popularity is required to claim him which really shouldn't take too long. If you haven't attempted the event yet, you do have 3 weeks from the release of Zhang Liao's banner to reach 6000 popularity. Otherwise, he is gone till his rerun where you would likely need to spend Ashrites to pick him up, so just ensure you do reach 6000 popularity in the event whenever you can. Now as for Zhang Liao's overall value, considering that he is a free 5 star character and is a better main DPS than a lot of characters in our current selection is insane. Especially when it comes to his counterpart Kalcharo, as he is literally just better than him in every possible way, apart from the animations and character design being subjective. However, as I just mentioned, Zhang Liao is better than a lot of other main DPS characters, but not all of them. I do understand the chance to use Zhang Liao through the events wouldn't be able to provide the full picture of his capabilities, but it does provide a good enough understanding on where he would fit amongst our current best main DPS characters. Right now, Jin Qi is the undisputed best main DPS character in the game. Due to how easy it is to play her, along with the ability to throw out nukes with her resonant skill and liberation, following would be Jian and Chang Li which do have their own unique traits. Jian's of course being his liberation that turns challenging content into easy mode and Chang Li being an amazing best DPS along with having a godlike outro skill. So I do believe Zhang Liao is an amazing DPS character but wouldn't crack into the top 3 main DPS characters. So with there only being a need for 3 main DPS characters to be built for Tower of Adversity, it should go without saying but if you are one of the fortunate ones who have Jin Qi, Chang Li and Jian on your account then you wouldn't need to build Zhang Liao. That being said, even if you don't have the best main DPS characters and you're using characters such as Dan Jin and An Ko to clear Tower of Adversity, again you wouldn't need to build Zhang Liao but in that specific case, he will certainly make it easier clearing Tower of Adversity so it would benefit you if you were to actually build him. Now aside from clearing potential and a meta standpoint, Zhang Liao is overall a great character, with an amazing kit design, fluid animations and is able to hit insanely hard. So if you just like the character then that would be reason enough to build him and he definitely would not disappoint. Also considering Kalcharo is still able to clear majority of content, Zhang Liao being a better DPS character would also be able to do exactly that and he wouldn't feel anywhere near as clunky as Kalcharo which is the cherry on top. Now slightly touching upon Zhang Liao's synergies, if you do have Yin Lin you would have even more of a reason to build up Zhang Liao than others that don't. Since Yin Lin is literally any Electro main DPS character's dream partner, but since Zhang Liao's main source of damage scales off Resonance Liberation damage, Yin Lin would be even more perfect as she does increase Electro damage bonus and Resonance Liberation damage bonus with her outro skill. So Yin Lin is Zhang Liao's best in slot sub DPS partner by far, meaning if you have both of them on your account, you would have access to an amazing duo that can shred through a lot of content. Lastly, I do want to go over some potential characters releasing soon. With the upcoming updates, we have Jian that is still not confirmed to drop but it's pretty much a given that he will be dropping as a rerun character in the second phase of 1.3. 
So if you are after just one more DPS and you might want to pick up Jian on his rerun banner, you would be better off waiting to summon for Jian rather than building Zhang Liao and completely benching him for Jian when you pull him. So if that is the case, to just save your resources and time, you should probably hold back on investing in Zhang Liao. Now going into speculation territory, with 1.4 being the update right afterwards, I do believe we will be receiving Camellia as one of the featured 5 star characters and I also do believe she will be a main DPS character. I won't really argue whether she is going to be a better main DPS than Zhang Liao or any of the top 3, but I do know a lot of players are hyped for her release in general. So if you would consider yourself to be one of those players, just bear in mind you don't really want to waste any time building characters that you would bench soon. Unless you have completely built up your other characters and have stamina to kill, or you still need to build a couple DPS characters for your account, then that's completely down to you. The point is, there is likely going to be quite a few powerful main DPS characters dropping within the next few version updates, and with Jian being the first dropping in 1.3. So if you see yourself dropping Zhang Liao for another main DPS character like Jian very soon, again it wouldn't be the best decision to invest in him as it would just be a waste of resources. But as always, it's all really down to your account. Now as for Zhang Liao's signature weapon, as a reminder, it has a crit rate main stat, provides a 12% attribute damage bonus and up to a 48% resonance liberation damage bonus. So of course, this weapon would be the undisputed best weapon for Zhang Liao. The only two alternatives worth mentioning would be the Abyss Surges being a standard banner 5 star weapon and the Stone Art being a battle pass weapon. With the Abyss Surges, it has an attack main stat, provides a 12% energy regen increase and a 10% increase in resonant skill damage and basic attack damage. Now since there are periods on the field where Zhang Liao would be dealing attacks that do scale off resonant skill damage and basic attack damage, means that Zhang Liao would definitely be able to utilize this weapon. Also, the energy regen increase will help in activating the ultimate sooner, which would be where he deals a large portion of his insane damage. However, considering the signature weapon provides a massive 48% liberation damage boost, which is exactly what his main source of damage scales off, it would just be significantly better. Also, the crit rate main stat is much more valuable than just an attack percent main stat. So even though the abyss surges are a viable option, the signature weapon is miles ahead in value. Now with the Stone Art, it's actually a scaled down version of Zhang Liao's signature, since it provides a crit rate main stat and an 18% liberation damage bonus through the passive. Now even though you would only be receiving 4% more crit rate with the signature weapon, you would be losing a 42% damage value increase if you were to use the Stone Art over the signature weapon. So it's pretty clear that Zhang Liao's signature weapon will be significantly better than all of the other weapon options. So now also considering main DPS characters rely on the signature weapons the most, as they take up the most field time and you would rely on them to deal majority of damage for the team, if you intend to main Zhang Liao then his weapon is a must pull. It's really just that he wouldn't be able to deal anywhere near the damage he is capable of without it, so if you like him and want to main him, then you would need to consider picking up the signature weapon. However, there are just a few things to consider before pulling the trigger for the signature weapon. One is that this weapon is extremely niche when it comes to the passive. The 48% liberation damage boost only lasts for 8 seconds, but it can be extended by 5 seconds each time a resonant skill is cast, and this can be done up to 3 times. However, as of now, Zhang Liao would be the only one able to achieve extending the liberation passive. Of course, other characters would still benefit from the crit rate boost and the attribute damage bonus, but a massive ability of the weapon would be partially cut out. So just bear in mind when pulling for the signature, for now at least, Zhang Liao is the only one capable of fully utilizing this weapon. That being said, I know someone like Yuan Wu does have a pretty quick cooldown on his resonant skill, but the liberation damage boost would only provide massive value to Zhang Liao as no one else would really benefit much from it. So the weapon is just incredibly niche overall, for now at least. Now secondly, in terms of the banner that holds the most value from the upcoming banners, the Shawkeeper would definitely be priority. So my advice is that if you have enough to at least go to pity once for the Shawkeeper and you intend to main Zhang Liao, then you would be able to pick up his signature weapon. The Shawkeeper just holds too much value and will be a character every player should aim to pick up. So since the showkeeper will be dropping right after Zhang Liao, risking the chance of picking up for Zhang Liao's weapon just wouldn't be worth it. 
Of course, it's down to your preference as always, but that's just my opinion. Overall, Zhang Liao is looking to be an exciting character to play around with and he will definitely be able to clear a lot of content. So for players that are struggling to clear more difficult content as they lack the characters to do so, then Zhang Liao is going to be one hell of a character to pick up for free. Again with the weapon, if you intend to main Zhang Liao, it seems like a must pull considering it's miles ahead of the alternatives. But bear in mind for now at least, it would only be amazing for Zhang Liao since he is the only character that can fully utilize the effects of the weapon. So as for should you build a Zhang Liao, it should go without saying, but if your account is lacking solid main DPS characters, then you should instantly build him. If you want to build him, then that's also reason enough, and since he is a strong DPS character which feels amazing to play with, you wouldn't have any regrets. There are better main DPS characters that will drop soon, but if you like him, then that's all that really matters. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel for more The Ring Waves content and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Also drop a comment down below on whether you will be maining Zhang Liao or will he just be left in the box. And yeah, hope to catch you guys later.